what is up guys and welcome back to our channel and welcome to our night routine so if you're new here my name is rachel and i have two golden retrievers my oldest as you can see here her name is larcy she's a year and a half and then i also have her full blood little sister from a different litter and that is koba j she is seven months old we're just basically going to go through what we do every single night for our night routine with them. So the first thing that I do when I get out of work is start working on their training. So usually we will go for a walk first and then we will stop somewhere and do their training. So right now, Larcy is in school to get her canine good citizen title. So this is what we are practicing, doing left turn, right turn, about turns and getting her to stop and sit whenever I stop walking. And then also in this clip, we are working on doing our sit stays and our down stays and working on our recalls. The biggest issue that she has for this test is just greeting strangers politely and not jumping, not acting like a crazy person. And uh, yeah, it definitely takes some work, it definitely takes some time, but she's getting a lot better. Also for the test, we are not able to use any treats. So I am working on training her without any treats and just strictly using verbal and physical phrase only so that she is used to that come test day. And then I also have Koba J, so I will train them separately of course. And even though Koba J is not going for Can I Good Citizen, she's not in class for it yet, I'm still just teaching her whatever I learn with Larcy so that way she's more prepared, more ready. And I just feel like it makes our lives much easier if they are more on the same page as far as obedience level goes. So that way they can kind of feed off of each other and not pick up each other's bad habits, which definitely, unfortunately, has happened. Once we're done with that, the girls will uh, go inside and start playing, getting crazy, getting wild. This is literally how they play all the time it looks like they're in like a wrestling match a boxing match not really sure but they are just two peas in a pod then we do a little uh brushy brush they don't really love this time of day but they don't really necessarily hate it so i always let them smell the brush first so they know what i'm doing just to kind of like introduce it to them and then i use my comb for like everything. I love having this little poem. So I just go through Marcy, the most like natty poem places first. So I do like around the ears, underneath the neck, oh. around the back of the head. Then I do like around their legs where they get their little flailies at. I do their booty floof, their tail. And normally I would just like comb them with their regular brush too. But I literally just raked them earlier today. So I wasn't going to go through and brush them again. Then it is paw balm time. I don't know if you have a golden retriever or ever had one or have a dog that loves to lick, but this is the most frustrating part of doing this is that they want to lick it the entire time that you're trying to put it on. So I do each of their paws and I will just put a little bit on and then I will kind of like rub it in with my finger just so that way it's not on there quite so thick. And I feel like it helps it dry in a little bit faster. So I will do one of the girls first do all four of her paws, usually start in the back and then I go to the front and then I will set a timer for three minutes and I will let the timer go for the full time and then I will let them get up as long as it feels like they are dry. But for those full three minutes, I have to hold them down and try to keep the other one away because they want to just sit there and lick it. I just really like doing this for the girls because their pads just get so dry and cracked and I just like to keep them nice and healthy for them. By this time, it's usually close to dinner time, so I will grab each of their bowls to go fill it up. So I grab Larcy's first and fill hers. Larcy is eating Royal Cannon for adult golden retrievers. So she gets one cup every single meal. If any of the little food pieces drop on the floor, they know that it's fair game and they are allowed to grab those, but they cannot eat the food out of the bowl until we tell them they can. Well, I put Larcy's back and then go grab Koba's bowl, fill up her bowl. Koba is also eating Royal Cannon for Golden Retrievers, except she is eating the puppy formula. So because she's only seven months old, she will not bump into the adult food for Royal Cannon Golden Retrievers until she is over 
15 months old. So same thing with her. She also gets a cup every single day. Her measuring cup in her bag is only for half of a cup. That's why I'm giving her two scoops instead of Larcy's one scoop. Come back. Stay. So at mealtimes, we make the girls sit and wait until we tell them they can eat. We get their bowls ready. We get some water out to fill out their water dishes. And they know to just sit there and stay until we tell them that they can go. Go. As you can see, they both eat like vacuums, hence why they both have to eat out of slow feed bowls. This definitely helps slow them down, but they are still pretty quick with it. So once they're done eating, they get some water, wet their tongue a little bit, and then they go back to their bowl, lick the bowl a little bit, see if there's any crumbs that are left behind. And maybe they'll get some more water, look around again, just to double check. And then they have to wander off to where their food is stored. So just to see if there's any little pieces that were dropped along the way that they missed. And then they will come back and switch spots. So Kobo will go lick Larcy's bowl and Larcy will go lick Kobo's bowl. Again, looking for any tiny crumb, whatever, that it was possibly left over. And then back to playtime. Lots and lots of playtime like this. This is probably their favorite times of the day, and that is uh, toothbrush time. They love getting their teeth brushed, which makes me so happy. So instead of having them fight over who goes first, I now just always do Larcy first out of habit, so there's no confusion for them. So I do a lot of stuff, obviously, on this bed over here. They just kind of know that this is the place they're going to be getting brushed, they're going to be getting their pads done, they're going to be getting their teeth brushed, whatever. Something's going to be happening on this bed. I use the Vets Best toothpaste, and I use the exact same toothbrushes now for both of them. These are the H&H &H Pets long handle toothbrushes. They have two different heads on them, and there's like a triangle taper that I really like that makes it easier to get inside their mouths, especially because they have a long snout. Once they are basically ready for bed, we will take them out one last time before bedtime. Usually this is my husband's job and I don't do the nighttime, but because he was working late and he doesn't like to be filmed anyways, I am just doing this one by myself. So I'm going to get both of the girls ready at the same time just to kind of make life easier. So once I'm done with one, I can just hurry up and grab the other one because she's already ready to go. When Larcy goes out to go potty, she is much more of the like, oh, let's sniff the flowers. Oh, a stick. Mm, let's go do this. And doesn't really like get down to business. Like she really tries to drag it out and like really take her time while she's out there, which is fine when I have time, except for like when I'm on my lunch break and I have to get back to work. Um, usually she's pretty good. She's just uh, definitely takes a lot more time than Koba does. Once we get back to the stairs, I say all done and they know that they need to go in and switch spots. Okay, girl. Okay. If you're wondering what the loud booms are in the background, that's fireworks. I actually filmed this on the 4th of July, so we are gonna go up and watch some fireworks once we're done with this. Good girl. Every time the girls go outside, they know that they have to sit and wait on the mat before they can go anywhere else because they have to get their paws cleaned off. We usually just use a towel for this, unless it's super muddy. If it's really muddy and icky outside, we will use the paw cleaners and kind of wash their paws that way, then dry them off, but normally the towel works just fine. We don't normally do this every night, but because it was the fourth, we went out on the balcony and just kind of hung out outside for a little bit, kind of enjoyed the night. We didn't have any fireworks super close to us, but you could definitely hear them and see a few off in the distance. So the girls and I just kind of snuck it up on a blankie and Hung out on the balcony before we went to bed.
now officially bedtime, so the first thing that we need is these snuggle puppies. So both of the girls still sleep with each other's snuggle puppies every All single right, night. Let's go. The light one is Kova's, the darker one is Larcy's. So we not only have the two of them in the bed, but we also have their two snuggle puppies as well. So I turn the bed on, make sure the light's on. They sleep with us every single night, and it is a lot of fun. I can't imagine not sleeping with them, but hopefully you guys enjoyed their night routine. If you did, make sure you give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.